Hey guys, here we are, lesson 12. We're at the middle of our, what's going on with my face? Um, we're at the middle of our module after 12. We are going to get into some more uh, problem solving tomorrow. We, it's very critical that you understand the problem before you solve it, just like we talked about today. So honestly, I really feel like the true battle is understanding the problem, and then you're just going to use all of the tools you have to solve the problem. So let's go. Here we go. We are hopping right into number one in our problem set. Again, this is L12. Let's read this before we just start blind calculating. A baseball team played 32 games and lost eight. Katie was the catcher in five-eighths of the winning games and one-fourth of the losing games. What fraction of the games did the team win? Okay, so um, this calculation is not going to be tricky, but... The tricky part is understanding the information that is given us. I mean, it's not really tricky. We just need to be thoughtful about it. Okay, so we have 32 games played. Oops. We have eight games lost within that 32. So in order to figure out, how do we figure out how many games they won? Well, 32 games played minus the amount that they lost will give us the amount that they won. 32 minus 8 is 24. So they won 24 games. They lost 8 games. They played 32 total. 24 plus 8 is 32. What fraction of the games did they win? Well, we're going to have their winning games as the numerator and their total games as the denominator. So what fraction did they win? 24 over 32. Uh, this can be simplified. We can um, find a common denominator. Um, and we can divide, I'm just thinking what is a good, well we can take them down to half. 20, we can divide them both in half and get 12 sixteenths. And then we can divide them both in half again, and we can get six eighths. And we can divide those both in half again and get three fourths. All of these fractions, one, two, three, four, represent the same amount. The most simplified version of that fraction is three fourths. They won three fourths. Now we want to know, in how many games did Katie play catcher? Oh boy. Okay, so we know that she played catcher in five-eighths of the winning game, so let's jot that down. So five-eighths of the winning games, so that's five-eighths of 24. And then, of course, just to be tricky, we uh, have one-fourth uh, one of the losing games, so one-fourth of how many games did they lose? Eight. So now all we have to do is just figure out five eighths of twenty-four and one eighth one I'm sorry, one fourth of eight, and then add those numbers together. So five eighths of twenty-four looks like five five eighths times twenty-four, which is equal to five times twenty-four on the top over eight. Opportunity for some simplification. I think Ali was thinking the same thing. 24 and 8 have a, a, are each divisible by 8. When we divide 8 by 8, we get 1. When we divide 24 by 8, we get 3. So now all we have to do is 5 times 3. 15. Boom. Isn't simplification awesome? Okay, cool. So we'll hang, hang out there for a second, 15. Now we look for 1 fourth of 8. Well, 1 fourth of 8 looks like one-fourth times eight. Ooh, this one looks really, really e-word. So we have one times eight on the top. We have four on the bottom. One times eight is eight over four. Eight divided by four is two. So in how many games did um, Katie play catcher? 15 plus two is 17. So these calculations are not difficult. You guys know how to subtract whole numbers. It's just really understanding what is being asked of us. So just keep that in mind. 
Hey kiddos, we are going to look at one more and then we're going to move on with our lives. Um, of the students, let's read it first. Of the students in Mr. Smith's fifth grade class, one third were absent on Monday. Of the students in Mrs. Jacobs' class, two, -fifth, two fifths were absent on Monday. If there were four students absent in each class on Monday, how many students are in each class? Okay. So we have some information. Let's organize this information with a visual. So we have Smith, I'll put S, and we have um, Jacobs, we'll put a J. So each of these lucky fifth grade teachers have their own classes of children. So we're going to represent that with a tape diagram. In Myth Mrs. Mr. Smith's fifth grade class, one third were absent. I'm just going to do absent. One third were absent. Okay, that, that makes sense. Of the students in Mrs. Jacobs's class, two fifths were absent. So we're going to pop. Oh, pretend these are equal. Sorry, guys. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So two fifths were absent in uh, Ms. Jacobs's class. Okay. So we have one third and two fifths absent. If there were four students absent in each class on Monday, how many students are in each class? Okay, well, if there were four students absent in Ms. Smith's class, there's four in that space. This is divided equally, so there must be a four in each of the boxes. Well, okay, three times four equals Thank you, Kendi. 12. Okay. So there were four, abs four kids absent in Mr. Jake Jacobs' class, Mrs. Jacobs' class. So if there's four spread across two boxes, that means two live in each box, which means two lives in every box because we these are all evenly divided. So we have one, two, three, four, five twos. Well, five times two equals ten. So Miss Smith has, I keep on messing up these names, Mr. Smith has twelve kids and then Mrs. Jacobs has ten kids. Rocket science? No. Just make sense of the problem. Organize it in the visual model. Come uh, into class fresh tomorrow. Uh, that's actually the secret word, fresh. Fresh, fresh is a secret word. Fresh, fresh. What's a secret word? Oh, it's fresh. Have an awesome night. I hope you guys are enjoying some sunshine. Can't wait to do some more problem solving with you tomorrow. See you then.